the final race of day one is the Stayers Stakes Group 2, 18 furlongs Born Trippy, Paul Rose, Yonker, Stargazer, Vinnie Gerard, Luxu, Leanne, Darren Thompson, Penny Fan, Monty, David Robertson, Prickly Harvest, Craig Beckwith, Take Back Control, Land Hybrid, October for Graham Clitterbock, Lara Dissa, Lady Padre, Gogan and Rainbow Explorer for Leon Van Rensburg. Somebody give me a shake when it's about three furlongs to go. Anyway, they're installed and ready to go. And away we go. And nothing all that keen to lead, it would seem. Looks who Leanne, though, has now gone into the lead, albeit reluctantly. Oh, Darren Thompson. Take back control is in second. In Bourne Trippy, who's probably the star stayer of the season, I think. We had end of season awards. I don't know we don't have end of season awards. That might make things a little bit interesting if we did that. There was a time, I think, a while ago where we had Horse of the Week. God, somebody did that. used to hand out uh, sort of like online trophy thing. It wasn't a real trophy. It was just a picture. But it posted up in the forums. Lots of things used to happen years ago. They don't happen anymore. That were good. We want to try, if we're going to try and keep this thing going, and try and bring some of those things back like all the little mini leagues which kept things interesting where people were tucked into divisions of about four or five and you got somebody to battle against even if you got absolutely no chance of doing any good you were battling around if you only had six or seven winners with other people that six or seven wanted to try and win that in particular league it was it was fun it made it interesting and it set up some good rivalries that's how Gray and me got to be so competitive because we were always tucked in the same division most of the people in the division were all gone now. They're, they're, we scared them away. I don't know. But anyway, them sort of things would be good. Somebody needs to pick the ball up and run with it. The dual code thing as well was good. Where well, the champion of the well, world won most races over the jumps and the flat. That made things interesting. Where you'd have people who were the second or third in the jumps and second or third in the flat. They could end up being top of the dual code thing. So that just disappeared as well so it's a pity that all these things disappeared and people couldn't find the time to do them or get somebody else to do them but anyway let's hope that something can be done to make things a little bit more exciting because the forums have been pretty dead the last few weeks well a whole season to be honest let's be fair it's not been the most thrilling season in the forums has it with stuff going on people having bits of fun and stuff but maybe that's the way of the world at the minute anyway. But it's Lux Julian in the lead. From Yonkers, Stargazer in second. Born Trippy is in third. Then Penny Fan Monty and Lara Desolady. Take back control is next. Then Rainbow Explorer. Harbour in October. And finally, Prickly Harvest is the back marker. But Lux Julian is well clear. From Yonkers, Stargazer in second. As I've always said, the people who can't help to sort of do anything, you might not have the time to race run, or you might not have the time to commentate or handicap. But if you've got time to play the game, you've got time to do something. So do something, even if it's only resurrecting one of those league systems. I'm sure whoever did it before, I think it was Paul did it before, whoever did it would tell you, and it's pretty self explanatory anyway, really. But it'd be good if everybody did something anyway. We've got three furlongs to go now. I've managed to waffle about nothing for, for most of the race. And Luxu Lian is clear. There's nobody a second in notice. I mean, Larry Dissa Lady is second. Yonkers Stargazer is third. Then comes Rainbow Explorer. Penny Fan Monty is next. Take back control and Born Trippy have both got work to do. Born Trippy struggling today with a furlong and a half to go. And it's Luxu Lian who is in the lead from Yonkers Stargazer in second. Then comes Larry Dissa Lady. Penny Fan Monty is now running on again in fourth. And inside the final furlong, and Yonkers Stargazer is now kicking on. And looks like he's going to take it. Yonkers Stargazer from Penny Fan Monty. He looks through Leanne, Rainbow Explorer's finishing well, but it's Yonkers Stargazer all the way. Close for second, Rainbow Explorer. And Born Trippy was running on at the end, maybe needed a little bit further. Probably had a big penalty as well, didn't he, for being a Group 1 winner. I think that was a Group 2, which of course in real life he wouldn't have run in. So Yonkers Stargazer takes it for Vinnie Gerard. Rainbow Explorer was second for Leon Van Rensburg. Penny Fan Monty for David Robertson was third. Luxu Lian 
was 4-4 Darren Thompson and Bourne Trooper for Paul Rhodes was 5th.